Good afternoon. Welcome to Green Bay, Wisconsin, Carpenter's Woodshop. Today, I'm going to try and turn, well, I'm not going to turn anything. Today, I am going to pour a, in a mold, some Choya Cactus, Chola Cactus, Choya Cactus, anyway. I'm going to, I've got some cactus that I got from Doug Brown. Thank you very much, Doug. And I'm going to, I've had it sitting in Minwax Wood Hardener for a couple of days. Um, I haven't taken that big step to get a um, system using the cactus juice. It's expensive and Right now, I can't swing the extra bucks to do so. So anyway, I've got one of my homemade molds. I'm going to mix up some colors and pour that around the Choya cactus. And with any luck, it'll turn out. Not real sure how the Choya gets all the liquid around and inside of all of the voids. So this is a new one for me, and hopefully whatever I come up with, you guys like. If you do, hey, give me that thumbs up after the video, and if you have comments on what I did, let me know, because there's a lot of guys out there that do, have been doing this longer and more professionally than I have. This kind of started out as my hobby, and I just, it happens that I make some color combinations that people like. I want to thank you all for those of you that are purchasing my pin blanks and using the blanks also for diamond painting. Um, that seems to be a really booming thing right now. So to everybody, I, I really truly appreciate you helping me out here and get my foot in the door. And so, um, truly, thank you very much. So, let's get started. For my primary colors here, I'm going to be going with Envy, Satin Penny, Lounge Lizard, and Snake Island Greens from Mad Micas. See? Mad Micas. Really good colors. I'm enjoying the results I get from these there's a couple there that I did there's some there that I did there's another one with the Mad Micah colors they work awesomely so now that I have my colors that I'm going to use I'll get that mixed up and I'll come back okay here I'm mixing up my Alumalite Clear I have 8 ounces of B and I'm adding 8 ounces of A. Alright, now I'm going to take, turn off my scale, grab, hey Google, set my timer for 11 minutes when you first start stirring when you add your A and B and your alumilite it's very cloudy and as you stir it and it gets better mixed it becomes clear rub the bottom real good and as you see aside from the bubbles here you see it with bubbles but it's cleared up All right, and add clear to my colors. Now I'm going to mix these up well. And here I'm using a 20 ounce clear cup, and these are two ounce clear cups that I get from Mad Mica as well. These are all natural. They're made from corn. They're biodegradable. 
Mad Micas is trying their best to be environmentally friendly with their products. Their powders are safe, as are their mixing cups. Environmentally friendly in my fourth. There will be a fifth color in a second. All right, now I need another cup. And I'm going to take some of my clear to there. And I'm going to go with a touch of gray from Pearl X. I want to start out with a light amount and stir it and see where I'm at. And all this is make, doing is making a binder base. My terminology, I don't know what you call it. Just a touch more. Not very much. I want this to remain more opaque than a solid color. Sparkle Me Gold, pretty heavy handed. Final color before I go to my gray. My gray. This is my binder color. And now I go into my white. There we have all of my colors from Mad Micas mixed. That goes into the pressure pot, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out in two hours. Okay, I got my colors poured into the pot, or my mold placed into the pot. It has to sit in there for approximately two, two and a half hours. Um, I don't even know what time it is right now. But when that comes up, I'll set my timer and I'll show you guys what it looks like after it comes up. So I'll be back. Don't go away. Famous last words. <sighs> Clean up my mess here a little bit. If you haven't done a loom light yet, be prepared. Any kind of resin. Wear gloves. And put down paper or paper towels. You'll need it. Hey, good afternoon again. Welcome back to my shop. I'm going to finish up this video. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open up my pressure pot. And we're going to take a look and see, hopefully... been a little over two hours all right take the pressure off I guess that's why they call it a pressure pot okay open those and that one I 
I know there's guys out there saying, man, you can't put that much pressure on them pot handles. Well, it's not that much. It just hurts my hands to try and tighten them up. All right. Take this out. Now, this is the pour that I did with the Choya, Choya cactus. All right. And right there, you see it? Choya cactus. And we're going to go over to my workbench. Let's get this zoomed in. Hopefully you folks can see that if I don't knock you over. There we go. And this is off level a little bit my port. But it'll survive. So we're going to take this. Take my electric drill. Battery powered for all you... Guys, you have to use correct on everything. Back. Three good wax. Pull it forward. And, all right. Choya Cactus, Alumilite, Clear Slow. And, I don't know if there's much sun out there or not. That's put back together out of the way. And let's go outside and look at this close up in the sunbeam if I can find one. And here we go. Sorry about that. And out the door. Oh, yeah, there's a sunbeam. Maybe two coming through the trees. Let's see if we can find this baby. Yeah, right. Oh, looky yonder. Looky yonder. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. Turn it like that. Come in a little closer. Alrighty, I think we got a winner. Alright, hey everybody. My name's Kevin. This is my wood shop. Thanks for watching me. Truly, if you like what I'm doing, give me that big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of what I'm doing. And if you want to see something else, let me know that too. Good night. And for those that ask, that's my shop. 24 by 24 with a 10 foot overhang in the front for all my junk. I know that looks terrible, but I couldn't go any bigger, but it's the only way I could keep some of my stuff out of the rain. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.